And I think we're going to see a repetition of this nonsense. And of course, he was appalled. He couldn't believe it. And he said, you, you Americans are allowing foreigners, people with no ties to your country whatsoever, to decide the outcome of these elections. Why would you do that? Doesn't make any sense. He thought we were nuts. Well, he was quite correct in 2016. I don't see that anything there has really changed. And I don't see any evidence that anybody in Washington desperately wants to change it. Because again, what does Washington not want? It does not want any disruption in the flow of money. And their answer to every challenge is we'll print more money. And their fervent belief is that since our dollar is the reserve currency, we can do this in perpetuity. So you put all of that together. And I think what we're going to see on 5 November in many places in the United States, large numbers of American citizens are going to go to the polling places. And they're going to watch and they're going to see all of these non-citizens show up to vote. And they're going to intervene and say, wait a minute, this man's not a citizen. And of course, the polling officials in some areas will say, well, this is none of your affair. Get out of here. You know, we determine who can vote. And someone will probably hold up the, the Constitution. For instance, in the state of Florida, in most states, it says, you must be a citizen of the United States to vote in the election. But even in Florida, there are many areas where no one's citizenship is ever questioned or tested. So I, I guess my big frustration right now are all these uh, celebrations of, you know, we're going to sweep uh, Trump back into office and then everything will be better. These people are delusional. And then you have on the left, you have this crowd that says, well, go ahead, you know, do what you want. It's not going to make any difference. And I found this statement by this retired Army Lieutenant Colonel Vintman, who uh, became a celebrity when he uh, testified against Donald Trump uh, back in uh, under the last administration in connection with all this Russiagate nonsense. And he said, well, uh, I guess it's Mr. Durov, the Russian who uh, founded and operates Telegram, was arrested in Paris. And he said, well, I, I guess Mr. Durov is an object lesson, effectively what he was implying. And Mr. Elon Musk had better watch out or he could end up like Mr. Durov. And this tells me that you have on the left again something which I saw back in 2020, this very smug, arrogant view that it doesn't make any difference what you do, we are going to win. And I remember Nancy Pelosi saying, oh, Donald Trump has no chance of winning. It doesn't matter what he does. Uh, you know, a dead man could defeat Donald Trump.